Hello, my name is Mihailo Joris and you're watching Accent on Art. Today I have the privilege of introducing to you a sculptor who recently came to Vancouver from Paris, France, Marie Curie. First of all, would you please tell us about your background? I know you've lived in a couple of different countries through your childhood. I was born in Egypt and raised in Lebanon to the age of 15. Then had a short period in Vancouver of two years and then decided to move back to France where I've lived for the past 25 years. How do you feel here? At home, sort of. I miss, I miss Europe, I miss France a lot, but um, Vancouver has been a very uh, welcoming place for me and it had open perspectives that I could not have imagined. I want to go to Lebanon a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, you said you lived there till you were 15? Yes. And how were the times there? Was it peaceful? Was it troubled? They were wonderful up to the Civil War um, that everybody's heard of and that lasted over 30 years. Um, it was a paradise. Uh, Lebanon was a Switzerland of the Middle East. Beautiful place to be, beautiful place to be raised. Um, my home. And then the nightmare started with the Civil War and um, that's why we had to leave it. Then I moved to Spain for six months and um, after that was the time where Franco was in power and died and we did not quite know what was going to happen to Spain and my mother having lived Egypt through Nasser's period and <laughs> Lebanon through the Civil War said I am taking you guys somewhere very safe and that was Vancouver. After those couple of years in Vancouver you moved to Paris, France. Mm -hmm. And that's where you went through your education and everything. I mean, serious education. But you yes. didn't go for the arts straight away. No, not at all. I was in, um, actually, I was, my profession, I was an interpreter. I worked for um, embassies and consulates. And um, then when I met my husband, whom I've known in Lebanon, and we had met back in um, France, um, we started a software company in finance. And so I was in finance for a big part of my life. And when we sold the company, I decided to take a sabbatical. And through that sabbatical, I did drawing, but I could not draw. And my drawing teacher said to me, you know, there's a, in your drawings, the way you draw the lines, I am sure that you should try sculpting. And when I started taking um, a sculpting workshop at the Louvre, they asked me how long I had been sculpting for, because the way I did my forms, and it was as if I had already an imprint of my work. And I said, never, it's, you know, I had just started it. So I took one workshop, then two workshops, then I went through L'Ecole du Louvre and I did the curriculum. And then I continued within their workshops and it had become a mean of life to me, of expressing, of, 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 of saying things that I was never able to do in another way. It was like speaking another language. Tell me about the school itself, L'Ecole de Louvre. Oh, it was, it was fabulous. We, we were taught within the Louvre Museum and the workshop happened in the basement of the Louvre in every context that you can imagine. So it was uh, very old, <laughs> uh, ugly in some ways, but so full of history and life and baggage that, I mean, it, just this inspired you in a sense. Was it strict though? Very, very strict. Um, you know, when I started sculpting, uh, there was no way of you having your own way of expression or, or, or liberating your soul. We had to go through hands and feet and faces and ears and eyes for months and months and months until you got the right scaling 
of things. So it's very old school, but at the same time, it, 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 it's given me uh, this baggage that I have that you cannot depart of that is in you. And now whenever you do anything, even if you do a contemporary scale or even if you have a free hope sculpture, within that you have this knowledge and this, in, you know, this imprint of scale and spacing that has been inbred. I think it's essential. Thank you.